Hey there, welcome to Toe Motion. Yes, that's right, me, the Doll Fairy and Delightful teamed up again to give you an awesome Pokemon collab. If you can remember, we've done this before about a year ago, where we made the legendary trio, Xerneas, Evental and Zygarde. This time, instead of making each a Pokemon of a trio, we're going to do it a little bit different. Me, Catherine and Diana are, well, kind of veteran Pokemon trainers. So we decided to make our favorite Pokemon a doll form. Many of you already know that my all-time favorite Pokemon are Gengar and Muna. But I already made them in doll form. Or I was inspired by it. Still, I do have another favorite. Well, it's more of a version of it. The early appearance of Pikachu. Its first design where it was more rounder and chubby. Aw, it's so cute. Yeah, Pikachu got a little bit thinner over the years. But to be honest, I think this version of Pikachu is the best version of Pikachu. <laughs> to make Pikachu into a human doll, I was also inspired by the female cosplay Pikachu from Gen 3 Remake Games and by the fluffiness of the Detective Pikachu movie. So inspired by all these versions, let's make a cute, fluffy, female Pikachu. If you saw the Pikachu figure in my previous repaint video, then you found the hint. Good luck finding the hint in this video. For this custom, I'm going to use Ever After High Apple White. Every time I'm using an Ever After High doll, it always gets a lot of body modifications. And this doll is not going to be any different. Let's already start by taking off her head. I take a mug, pour hot water in it and dunk the doll in it. I leave it to soak for a few minutes. This makes the vinyl of the head soft. This makes it so much easier to take off the head without breaking the neck back. Okay, time to take off those long blonde locks. To remove the hair completely, I cut the hair as close to her head as possible. Now that she has a bust cut, I can go through a neck opening and remove the remaining hairs and glue with tweezers. I just scrape the hairs away from the inside. It can get kinda messy, but for some reason also very satisfying. If you have difficulty to reach all the hairs, you can make a little cut on the back of her head. With pure acetone, I take the factory painted face. Pikachu has long ears, so the human ears have to go. Something I'm also going to remove completely is her mouth. Yeah, I have some new techniques I want to try in this video. But first, let's switch back to her body. Pikachu has a short body and I want her to have a little bit more curves. To make this as smooth looking on a doll with joints, it's best to cut the doll's body in pieces and rebuild it from scratch. Okay, the doll's body that became more of a puzzle needs some color, which I'm going to do using Red Dye More. This is not for an overall body tone, but just for the joints. Moving to the kitchen area, I fill pans specially for dyeing with water and let it boil. Never make dinner out of the same pan you use for dyeing. Red dye mar is very concentrated stuff, so you only need a small amount. Yeah, don't remind me about it. And now we can dunk the doll pieces in it. 
after a few minutes, we have a yellow doll puzzle. Great, now that our joints are yellow, we can reconstruct the body. I still want the joints to be able to move when they are attached. So I placed a piece of craft foam to protect the joints from the glue. With a combination of super glue and wire, I reconstruct the body to look like a Pikachu. To fill up the gaps, I use a hot glue gun. And now let's give this doll body some curves. For this I'm using styrofoam, which I glued to the doll. Yeah, this point, she kinda looks like the Michelin figure. After some shaving, she looks much better. Before continuing with epoxy sculpt, let's make a hole on the lower back for our tail. And I'm also cutting a piece off the neck back. Which makes the face modifications much easier later on. And now for epoxy sculpt. I make a thin flap of epoxy sculpt and lay it over the styrofoam. With fingers and water, I form the new body shape of the doll. Back to Pikachu's head. At the last moment, I decided, ah, let's also give her inset eyes. I haven't done inset eyes on a doll for so long. I make a sketch of the eyes and carefully cut out the shape. With epoxy sculpt I make a new open mouth and a neat edge around the eye shape. After a day of drying, the epoxy is all dry and hard and can be sent down for a smoother look. I'm going to cover this doll with fluff later, so it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. To prevent the epoxy from cracking off the face, I cover it with a layer of super glue. Although I usually make the outfit later in the video, Pikachu has a unique body type, which I don't have any patterns for. For this, I'm going to use the wrapping technique. You basically wrap the doll in kitchen plastic and after that a layer of tape. Sketch out the pattern on the doll and cut it off the body. This is why it's best to make the patterns now, to prevent any damage. Great, now we have a simple pattern, which we're going to use later. But for now, let's paint her yellow. When the body paint is dry, I spray the whole body with a layer of Mr. Super Clear. Let's continue with our face up. Well, <laughs> face up, there are no eyes for me to draw in. But with a watercolor pencil, I draw the lines above her eyes, give her some shading with pastel powders and a brush, and I paint in her mouth with acrylic paints. To seal in everything, I spray her again with a few layers of Mississippi Clear. For our cute eyes, I'm going to use these pre-made eyes, which are usually used for ball joint dolls. I want them to be big and cute, but they don't fit into the head. So I'm going to shave them down with my Dremel. Much better. 
And now we paint in the eyes using acrylic paint and pastels. Now that I'm working on the eyes, let's answer the question of the day. What is it like living in the Netherlands? Well, I haven't lived in another country before, so I can't compare it. But I'm pretty happy here. Well, more mountains and less rain would be nice. But we have the best candy in the world. Do you have a question for me? Leave it in the comment section and maybe I will answer it in the next repaint video. Back to the repaint. The seal and the paint, I just push on the lens and they are done. Pikachu needs her lightning shaped tail. Fun fact. Female Pikachus have a heart shape on the end of their tail. Something the Pokemon Company included in Gen 4. The cosplay female Pikachu even has a black heart on her tail. But I'm going with a more natural Pikachu look. Now that we have a base for our tail, let's also make Pikachu's famous ears. With strong wire I make an armature. Some super glue for some strength. To make the actual ears, more epoxy sculpt. I'm letting the ears aside for now to dry. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I want this doll to be fluffy, just like Detective Pikachu. So that means a lot of tiny flock. To make flock, you need yarn, scissors, and a lot of patience. With a layer of fabric glue, I dab on the flock piece by piece. I do this for the tail, the ears, and yes, also a face. This is the first time for me doing a complete facial flock. It's best to let the glue dry for now, before brushing off the excess flock. The spare flock I save for future doll projects. I have quite a collection now. Oh, that looks pretty nice. To make her extra girly, I'm going to give her long eyelashes. Which I glue on using again fabric glue. The tail can finally go on. And the eyes can be placed into the head. Oh, that looks so cute. I glue back the ears with super glue. With pastels and acrylic paint, I draw on all the important details that make Pikachu. Like the black tips, red cheeks, and brown stripes on her back. You 
you may have noticed I painted the scalp pink. This is because I'm going to give her pink hair. Rerouting isn't really an option now, so wefts it is. I want to be very precise, so I glue on the vest with fabric glue, then my usual hot glue gun. For a neat look, I glue on loose hairs to hide the imperfections around our ears. When the glue is dry, I can give her a haircut. Well, I think bangs are the cutest hairstyle ever. So bangs it is! Let's make her outfit! Using the patterns I made earlier in the video. I'm taking inspiration from the cosplay Pikachu and Harajuku fashion. Nintendo should really make Harajuku Pikachu merch. I would buy it. I'm also going to make accessories for her hair. Something I picked up on Catherine's Litten Repaint video. I found these very cute images on Remand Packaging. I used resin, popped it under a UV lamp, and we got dull Pokemon merch. <laughs> From colorful beads, I make a necklace and bracelets to match her outfit. I glue on a pink bow and accessories, and Pikachu is all done. What is it with this place? Everything is Pikachu themed. I have Pikachu pancakes with Pikachu syrup. Red has a Pikachu hamburger with Pikachu fries and Pikachu ketchup. We got Pikachu bread and Pikachu pastries takeout. And blue has Pikachu tea and Pikachu ice cream. Seriously? Ice cream for breakfast? Hey, don't judge me. Huh? And everything makes sense now. Wow, that is one heck of a transformation. I really love how Pikachu turned out. I tried out so many new techniques in this video, and I definitely want to try them again on future customs. Hmm, maybe on more Pokemon dolls? <laughs> well, we will see. But for now, my friends Deanna and Catherine also make Pokemon dolls for you. Delightful made this amazing and tough Soul Valley doll 
all ready for battle. And the doll fairy made this very cute Sylveon couple. I also want to point out, the Lightfall made this amazing drawing of us as Pokemon trainers. And the doll fairy made a very cute sprite animation. So definitely go watch those videos now. Links are in my description box. And I will also make a playlist. I would like to thank my lovely patrons for supporting my channel. Thank you for watching and like always, like if you liked it and stop if you loved it. See you in the next video. Bye!